Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and today the Hobart Bay Ones go to battle against the Bruins of UCLA, who are an incredibly talented team, and it shows, especially on their defense, 6th in scoring defense, ninth best pass defense in the nation. Hobart Bay, however, they can contend with that as far as defense is concerned. Both offenses, mediocre. You look at UCLA, they got Keyshawn Lucier South, who is doing solid this year. Three and a half sacks, an interception. Pair, actually not a pair, three pass deflections, excuse me. Very good out there. He has some speed, but he really does look more like a run stopper. A guy who can get in there, get to your quarterback, or I guess the running back because he's a run stopper. They also have Octavius Spencer, seven tackles, which, I mean, he's a free safety. Do you expect him to get a lot? Four picks, though, very dangerous. Three pass deflections, including, and two forced fumbles. Very good. He's a free safety, so speed doesn't necessarily have to be the most since he plays off, but he's got great awareness. He'll stay in there all game. Great pursuit. And then they also have Josh Woods to round out their defense. 32 tackles, 50 assisted tackles, 3 sacks, a pick, 5 pass deflections as well. This guy is another guy you just don't want to mess with. UCLA, all around great defense, and I really look forward to seeing how this team does against our Hobart Bay Ones. And we are in Denver, Colorado, where Hobart Bay takes on UCLA in the Pac-12 championship game. The Hobart Bay ones have come off of a stunning regular season. UCLA, sort of lackluster. They won the national championship last year. This year, 10-2, so it's not the worst, but it's not the greatest anyway. They're not making the playoff. Hobart Bay, for sure, isn't making the playoff. But they have done what no one thought was possible, and in their first year, they have made it to the Pac-12 Conference Championship game against the defending national champs. We will see if Hobart Bay can hang with this big boy. But first, we have to figure out who's going to win this coin toss for the Pac-12 championship game. Hobart Bay had the greater conference record in the regular season, so they're actually the home team this time. They win the toss and they elect a kick. UCLA chooses the side they will defend, and now... Here we go, everybody. In the Pac-12 championship game, the stadium is gold, and we have kickoff from Denver, Colorado. And this one will be returned by Theo Howard, number 14. And he takes a hit, goes outside, breaks a tackle, and he has more space, and he is just run down. After a 45-yard return, strong start for the Bruins. And here we go. They start in the I formation. Monster does a play action, and he just misses his man. Bad throw by Devin Monster, and Hobart Bay forces them to a third down and ten. Out of the ace formation now. Three receivers. Drops back. Looks. Throws. And that is knocked away by Corian Reynaud, the senior. And Hobart Bay gets an opening three and out. How about that? Let's see if the offense can do well. They also start out in the eye. Toss left. Trey Regis gets a block and has the edge. He eventually gets taken down, but not after 15 yards. Good first play for the ones. Split backfield now. Second down and 10. Looks like they're going to have to adjust to a blitz. They do send the blitz. Strupinski finds Gio Saria. Tough, tight window. But Saria comes up with the catch. So Hobart Bay continues their drive, doing pretty well so far. Option keeper, Stupinski, cuts left. He takes some contact, but he gets eight. It's a good play for the ones. Hobart Bay, third down and two. They have Tyler Lamb in there to block. Hands off to Regis, and Regis gets more than enough for the first down. You wonder, will they put respect to Hobart Bay if they win this game? Because 10-2 and two is normally a top 10 record. Hand off to Regis up the middle, and he gets a first down. The UCLA is the defending national champion. I wonder if that will have any effect if Hobart Bay manages to beat them. What will it do for their ranking? 
toss left on third down. Trey Regis, nothing but blue. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. The ones strike first about halfway through the first quarter. Trey Regis gets a good drive for him over 30 yards, I believe. Normally, he doesn't do so well. Hobart Bay isn't much of a running team anyway. What runs the do are mostly from the quarterback. And UCLA's quarterback goes down. That one right there, Spencer Johnson. Don't see much from him. Nate Link normally steals the show, but Spencer Johnson is right there. Third and eight out of the ace formation again. Monster will throw. Caught by Alloway, but stopped just short. Fourth and inches, and UCLA punts the ball away. Here we go, starting off with a pass, and that is caught by Bubba West. Watch out for that man. If he gets the ball and he has some space, he can juke you out of your shoes. And believe me, you do not want to be a part of his highlight reel. Stupinski keeps, and he breaks a tackle, flips it to Gio Saria. He gets six yards, all right. That could have been much worse than it was, but Saria gets six yards. Second down and four. Coming out in the shotgun once again. Strupinski looks to throw. Fires, and that is intercepted by Holiday. And he <laughs> looked a little discombobulated when he tried to return it. Terrible throw by Strupinski. I don't know if he thought he was going to throw it farther than he did, but it was a bad throw. But UCLA, they, they're not doing anything. Third down and 10. Monster finds Theo Howard. Stops short. They get eight yards, that's not enough. Hobart Bay again stops UCLA. I believe the Bruins are still without a first down and they've already had three drives. Hand off up the middle and Regis loses a yard. That was just bad blocking. You can't, can't blame the running back for bad blocking as Keyshawn Lucier South gets a tackle. Second and 11. Hobart Bay, you know they're gonna throw. Fakes a screen. Stupinski takes a sack instead. Loss of nine, and that will bring about third and 20 as Rick Wade gets a great play. That will end the first quarter. Hobart Bay leads seven nothing, but they are in a tough spot for this third down. Here we go. So, third down and 20, I wouldn't get your hopes up if you're trying to get this one. Stupinski will roll out, and he'll take it himself. He gets pushed out of bounds after 11, but that isn't nearly enough. Just over half of what they needed. So UCLA gets the ball right back, and they have done absolutely nothing on offense as they come out with the empty backfield. Monster drops back, decides to run, and oh, he escaped Nate Link. But Spencer Johnson was right there to clean him up. Second sack for Johnson today. Brings up third down and 12 for UCLA. Here we go. Monster will throw. He gets it to Stevens. Stevens stopped short again. How about that? Hobart Bay. Third down defense gives up a lot of yards, but always just, just below what they could allow. Stupinski finds Bubba West, and he just gets caught up on the ankle tackle. Still, Hobart Bay, for the most part, their offense has done fine. Of course, sacks and interceptions are kind of hard to come back from. Stupinski rolls out here, and he'll take it himself. Gets a first down and goes out of bounds. No taking contact for him as Hobart Bay has seven first downs. UCLA has yet to get one. And Stupinski keeps this one. And he slides down. Risky looked like he could have taken some contact, but he didn't. Very good. First down. Looking to throw. Finds Bubba West. Couldn't make any men miss, but he gets enough for another first down. Brings about third down and six. Split backfield again. You have Jamar Williams Shepard in there. And he will get the pitch. And Shepard... No! Just short. And, of course... His one carry, he gets injured. Well, ain't that the way. Instead, Hobart Bay will kick a field goal. And, Zer's kick is up, and right in there. So Hobart Bay takes a 10-0 lead with 
just over two minutes left in the first half. Third down and nine for the Bruins. Monster looks to throw, finds Alloway, and he's short again! Third time they've been within a yard and have not gotten it on third down. How about that defense? Strupinski throws left, and that's intercepted by Metters. And he gets a block and he has some space down the sideline just caught up by Tyler Lamb who perhaps saved the touchdown at least reduced the effect of the return but Stupinski he's only 4 for 11 today so UCLA good field position hopefully for them they can at least get a field goal you never know their offense has been terrible little draw play to Stevens Stevens breaks a tackle and he gets seven yards on first down. The Bruins have had very unfavorable third down situations. At second down and three, it looks like they could perhaps change that. Because on third down, they're getting plenty of yards, just not enough. And Monster finds James Williams the first first down for UCLA today. The first one and we're almost done with the second quarter. Weak formation, White comes in motion, and it's a little play action, Monster throws, caught by James Williams again, he's out at the one, the one yard line, first down and goal, UCLA, coming out with two tight ends on the left, and Stevens gets in, touchdown Bruins, UCLA is making this a one score ball game. 10-7, and Strupinski has not done well today. I wouldn't put money on him making it down the field, but you never know. And he takes a sack to start. That's not how you want to start your drive, your two-minute drill, or in this case, your one-minute drill. Very terrible start. So it's third down and 12. You gotta hope for just catch the ball, honestly. Just catch the ball, make him use a timeout, if anything. Caught by Bubba West, and he fights for first down. That man is a real man. I don't care who you put against him. He's just, he is elite. And Tyler Lamb is wide open. Oh my goodness. And he gets pushed out of bounds after 31. They forgot all about the tight end. Well, if that ain't the darndest play. Stupinski finds Bubba West again. Nine seconds. They'll hurry up to the line and... Get a quick incompletion, so five seconds. One chance for a quick throw. Strupinski finds Trey Regas, who dives in. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. The ones with one second left make it a two possession game. 17-7 going into halftime. Hobart Bay has UCLA on upset alert. Watch out Bruins, because Hobart Bay could come back and beat you. And they've done a very good job so far today. Mostly on defense, if we're being perfectly honest. Hobart Bay has given up plenty of sacks. They've thrown two picks, but the UCLA offense just hasn't done anything today. They've done terrible. Devin Monster has so many incompletions. He has more than Strupinski. And that, that, that's not good, especially since Strupinski's having an off day today. UCLA can't get in favorable third downs. You saw that on the drive they scored the touchdown. Well, one, they started on the opposing 30-yard line. That helped. But you look at them, their run game is virtually non-existent. Their passing game is basically half that one drive where they scored the touchdown. And yeah, it, it, it's not good for UCLA. Hobart Bay has done so much better. You look at the running numbers, the passing numbers, the time of possession. The only reason Hobart Bay isn't absolutely decimating UCLA right now is because they've turned the ball over twice. Otherwise, Hobart Bay would probably have a 3-4 possession lead right now. UCLA has not looked impressive, especially for a defending champ. Second half begins Hobart Bay ball. 17-7 split backfield. Looks like it's a triple option again. Strupinski pitches it out to Jeremy Johnston. I think that might be the first time I've called his name all season. Maybe except for the Cincinnati and Arizona games. 
but wow, it's been forever since I've called his name. And Stupinski gets sacked. Yeah, when you don't have a blocker on the edge doing his job, uh, certain defenders tend to get sacks. So Josh Woods, good heads up play for him. Stupinski throws over the middle, and that's caught by Thien Wen. Good catch for 10 yards. Very tough, too. Stupinski is officially over 50% passing. That is good. But he's 10 of 19 now. Nate Metters with the deflection, and Hope Arpe will have to punt. UCLA coming out in the shotgun. We saw, I don't know that we saw any of this in the first half. If we did, it was very little. We'll see if they've changed up their game plan. Counter to Stevens. Stevens gets a block, breaks, sort of a tackle. He falls forward for almost a first down, second and in inches. The monster keeps this one. That's a first down easy. And a whole lot of green, too. Oh, my goodness. He eventually gets chased down, but not after a huge gain. And it looks like UCLA has some offense going. Monster throws. Caught by Alloway. And he goes for 17 yards. UCLA doing very good right now. Second and goal. Monster keeps it himself. And he gets sacked instead. Well, you can't do it all. Ryan Lewis gets the sack on that one. Third and goal. Hobart Bay trying to hold them to a field goal. Keep it at least a touchdown game. Monster throws. Caught by Elloway for another UCLA touchdown. The Bruins have made this a game. Three-point game. 442 left in the third quarter. Do not count these guys out. Hand off <laughs> Ouch. Just... Ouch. Third down and 12. Strupinski sends everyone deep, throws it, and that's caught by Victor Cross. How about that man? True sophomore, I believe. <laughs> he found a hole in the defense, just like he did against Mississippi State. And no, I will never let the Bulldogs live that down. Strupinski finds Bubba West, who makes a man miss! What did I tell you about this man? Do not mess with him. He may be big, he may be chunky, but boy, that does not mean he ain't athletic. Third down and six for Hobart Bay. Threatening to score a touchdown, Strapinski rolls out, and he keeps it himself and scores right at the edge of the end zone. Hobart Bay will restore the lead to 10 points with the extra point. Hobart Bay says, nah, uh our offense is not dead. We're still going. Minute and a half left in the third. And UCLA is going back to the ace formation. I could not tell you why. They have done terrible out of this all day. And it's intercepted by Ryan Lewis. He's running down the sideline. One man to beat, but he gets thrown out of bounds. Nevertheless, what did I tell you? Out of that formation, UCLA has been abhorrent today. And yet they decide to go back to it, and instantly they throw a pick. Third down and ten, their defense has stepped up. And no, Gio Sario could not come up with it one-on-one. -on -one. Stupinski is now again below 50% passing. However, Zer's kick is up, and that will be through the uprights. So Hobart Bay, a 13-point lead with a minute left in the third. They're doing well, but this is still comebackable. Caught by Theo Howard, as he gets another first down. Here we go, second down and four. Monster, hands off to Stevens. Falls forward for just enough for another UCLA first down. Closing in on the end of the third, Alloway will not get anything, because Monster goes down again. He goes down again, this time by Donovan Jordan, his first sack on the game and Monster has taken multiple sacks his his scrambling has not been impressive but Hobart Bay 13 point lead and the third they could pull this one off here we go third and 12 for the Bruins they're one and six on third down today so yeah it's just a little screenplay and Nate Link uh, he slows Olerum for me down before he is finally taken down. And, uh, hey, 
Good team play for Nate Link, but UCLA is going to go for it. They're still going out of the ace formation, which they have done terrible out of. I could not tell you why they keep going back to it. Monster drops back, finds Howard, and Howard stopped short again. And that's the fourth time today Holbarth Bay has stopped them with a yard or less left when they absolutely had to. Stupinski airs this one out, and that's intercepted by Samuel. Okay, so that, that last part did, didn't really matter. UCLA gets the ball right back, and uh, yeah. Okay, third down and seven for the Bruins instead. I formation this time. There we go. It's basically the same as the ace, except this time it works. Damian Alloway with the first down catch. Now they're going with the strong right formation. Will this work like the eye did? Well, they hand it off to Stevens, and Stevens does a little hurdle in the middle of traffic. Seven yards, second down and three. Now a motion with White, and a play action. Monster dumps it off to White, breaks a tackle, and White, oh my goodness. Good play for Rashad White. Doug Glover got his fifth tackle today, but only by pushing him out of bounds. Another drop back pass. Checks down, Bolu Oloran for me, gets a yard, fourth down and five, UCLA going for it. Let me guess, Hobart Bay will let them get four and then stop them. We'll see if that happens. It's crazy how it's happened. Monster finds Simmons, four yards, and stops him. Time number five, it's been within a yard. This defense, I cannot express what this defense is. Stupinski keeps, and he breaks a tackle, surprisingly. He doesn't normally break tackles, but he brings about a third down and one. I have formation. Hand off to Regis, who gets enough for a first down. Hobart Bay, just under four minutes left. Play action, Stupinski, running for his life, instead takes a shot. Loss of six, but they're still using up that clock. Just over three minutes left. UCLA needs a stop. And dropped. Oh, Theon Wen had it, but he dropped it. That's hard. Zer will come on to punt this one away. There's his kick. And that gets past the return man inside the five. And. <laughs> Marco Jackson ran past it, and they were down at the one. They got some space. Third down and six. UCLA needs to convert, and they, they need to go down the field. Monster looking, throws, knocked away by Ryan Fitzpatrick. Or Corey Fitzpatrick, sorry. And they're punting. This is the conference championship. You got two and a half minutes left. You're not coming back unless you... Can't tell you why. Can't tell you why. Theon <laughs> bobbles the punt. Maybe that's what the Bruins were counting on, but they've basically given up. Hobart Bay is going to add a field goal. They do drain all the timeouts of the Bruins. They're going to add a field goal here. So it's a 16-point game with 40 seconds left. UCLA will do absolutely nothing. Eight seconds left. Fourth down and six. UCLA is just going to air this one deep. It's the Hail Mary. Here we go. And that is knocked away. Two seconds left. Ladies and gentlemen, in their first year in the Pac-12, the Hobart Bay Ones are conference champions. Hobart Bay has just defeated the defending national champions. How about that? The ones have done it. They have done what absolutely no one thought possible. They won in a division with Washington in it. They won in a division... Okay, it, it had Washington in it. But they won it. And then they beat the defending national champs. This year they beat two teams who last year went to the college football playoff. That is no small feat, and perhaps now Hobart Bay will get respect to their name. 
Trey Regis had 49 yards today and somehow he gets player of the game. But who cares? Because Hobart Bay has won the Pac-12. There's the trophy. It's a nice trophy, but it's too heavy to lift. UCLA drops the ball. Hobart Bay does the impossible. In a sea of golden clad fans here in Mile High, Hobart Bay has done it. You know what this means? This probably means Rose Bowl for Hobart Bay. They're the Pac-12 champs and they're not making the playoff. The playoff does not include the Rose Bowl this year. So yeah, how about that? Third year of existence and Hobart Bay is already making a trip to the Rose Bowl and not for the regular season, for the postseason. How about that? The ones have done what no one thought was possible. But you know what is possible? The stats of this game. And those stats are something. Come check it out in the postgame show. Strupinski played horribly today. 12 of 30, 211 yards, a touchdown, but three picks. Yeah. On the ground game, we had some success. Strupinski, 52 yards and a touchdown. Regis, 49 yards and a touchdown. Jeremy Johnston even got a carry. That was nice. Through the air, though, Bubba West with 115 yards. Over half the yards went to him. Everyone else just getting small gains, but... Trey Regis gets an 8-yard touchdown catch, so that was good. Doug Glover led our team in tackles with 6. All of them solo tackles, no tackles for loss. But 2 sacks for Spencer Johnson, 1 for Ryan Lewis, and 1 for Donovan Jordan. Including a pick for Ryan Lewis as well. So, great day all around. For UCLA, Reggie Hall, the strong safety and a freshman, led the team in tackles, including 1 for loss, which was a sack. Interception by Colin Samuel, Nate Metters, as well as Damian, no, Deshaun Holiday. sorry. I don't know why I said Damian. On the receiving end, they were kind of like Hobart Bay, except without a Bubba West. They had a touchdown through the air to da that's Damian, Damian Alloway. Theo Howard as well, didn't, wasn't as productive as, as I thought he would be. Uh, on the ground, uh, not great. All around. I mean, their offense wasn't good. Devin Monster actually went 21 for 34, but it, and a touchdown and one pick. It didn't feel like he was that good, honestly. And Hobart Bay led in everything, absolutely everything, except for turnovers. It looked at that their time of possession: 21-21. They did not win by 21 though, so the 21 stopped there. And there's our conference championship trophy. We will take it as Pac-12 champions. Except it's more like Pac-14 now, because along with us was Boise State. So I mean, yeah. And we will advance to bowl season. We will not be making the college football playoff. If we did, that would be scandalous. But we should be in the Rose Bowl. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.